Out of the top 100 songs on the radio, who wrote the majority of the music? Did you know that the uh, majority of the songs in the pop realm were made in the last 20, 30 years even, were made by one man. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Use one man to do, to do a, a, their lyrics and to do their music. So, so they a ghostwriter. Yeah, so, so a ghostwriter. They go to this guy and, and say, "Hey, I, I don't have I don't have a song, but I can sing really well. Uh, can you can you help me?" And he's like, uh, "Yeah, I'll write this uh, or sing this and, and do this, and and you should you'll be amazed." In fact, we're gonna find out he has he uh, even though he's not well known, he has the majority of the top number one hits. You have entertainers and you have artists. Yeah. The artists mm -hmm. are the ones who are actually creating the music, the entertainers sing it. They're the face, right. the personality. Cool. Right, yeah, just because you can write the music, I guess you wouldn't be a good front man. He, okay. he's, like, he's like in the credits on the very bottom of, you know, of the song. Throughout this time that he's been doing this, he's had uh, songs on the radio that are in the top 10, sometimes five of them at a time. Wow. In the top he 10. Wrote, but with him writing for all these different people, that's five different styles, five different personalities, five different genres, maybe. Wow. Best known to work with Katy Perry, Britney Spears, Kelly Clarkson, Pinks, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Maroon 5, Coldplay, Avril Lavigne, Usher, Lady Gaga, Kesha, Deline, Celine Dion, Christina Aguilera, Simple Plan, uh, Jennifer Lopez, Demi Lovato, Justin Timberlake, Adele, Bon Jovi. He is not the top artist that has written something. The only two people that are above him. So it's Paul McCartney and John Lennon. You know a little bit about the Beatles, right? Now they're 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 a music. In fact, on their albums, they do a lot of occult. That's yeah. right. They had Aleister Crowley in the in one of their album covers, the Sgt. Pepper's band. The one below him is also a well-known singer, is Mariah Carey. She writes a lot of her own music. Hmm. But this guy writes the music for everybody else. <laughs> wow. I, is that strange? This kind of shows you, this next clip kind of shows you just how much he is um, involved. Max, you truly are the heart and soul of the Backstreet Boys. Tonight we heard a song called As Long As You Love Me. It has one of Max's favorites. Uh, wrote the song, produced it. He's like, hey, go sing this. Go sing this. Go sing this. Ow. Okay. <laughs> and so we did. He tells all these artists how to sing. You know how much control this guy has? Him and uh, Taylor Swift work very close together. He wouldn't allow her to write her own songs. If this guy is literally getting ideas from a spiritual source, and he's like, no, 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 we're gonna go with my idea. Like, you can't, you can't be in control of your own idea here. Uh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. I wanted to know exactly, what, what does he believe? Where, where is he going with all this? This is what he said. Key to producing a punchier sound was to wrap it in a greater spiritual understanding. Sometimes a song becomes more than just a song. Kan man påverka på något sätt? Alltså populärkulturen, jag kanske stöta till den lite grann. Alltså när den så att säga blir mer än en låt. Är alltid det är liksom min det är den största grejen. I went further into this and I thought, you know what? I need to find out how he makes this music. Mm. Because if Santana says that he's making it through a fax machine, basically a human fax machine coming and, and talking with the angels, I can't believe he called them angels. I think that's yeah. that blows my mind. But uh, let's see what this guy says because I think he's a little more subtle in how he approaches it. This is what he said. Can you tell us about making this song? I was going to bed and this melody of the, the chorus sort of started, you know, coming in. And, but I was really tired. And uh, I was lying there uh, trying to motivate myself to get out of bed and record this thing, because I had a feeling it was good. And I recorded it, and, and then I say, like, hit me, baby, hit me, baby, one more time. And I was like, and then I hear myself say, yeah, it's pretty good. This record, Baby One More Time by the great Britney Spears, was actually number one in every single country on the planet it was released. So not only is he uh, receiving the lyrics, but he's also providing the melody, the whole kit and caboodle. I mean, everything from, hey, an artist would often say, the thing I learned the most by working with this guy is it's how I'm pronouncing the words and how I'm putting the words and the different syllables in the certain places. And so he's not only saying, hey, I want you to sing it this tone, I want you to sing it with these lyrics, but he's also saying, 
this is how I want you to say it. So he, for, for what I think is happening here, he hears it in his head. Mm. Okay, do you know what baby hit me one more time says backwards? So that's interesting to me that if he he's that. very specific with you need to hit this syllable on this thing. Not only is he writing the song, lyrics, he's writing the music to it, but he's also giving them symbolism because the people that he works with, and we're going to see this just in a second, uh, have these symbolisms as a part of their religion. So you, know, you see all the symbology yeah. as uh, from I mean, just ancient just Egypt. the ancient Egypt symbology in this constant use of the horse, when, centaur, the centaur when you have the half human half horse thingy. It's it's interesting because what does this have to do with music? What does this right. have to do with the song? Why why is the constant <laughs> use of of the the horse in here? Yeah. And now what is going on on her shirt and on the leg of the horse? What is so that? That's the Egyptian Ankh. Ankh, yeah. 